Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jamie here, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new, just literally released now, BlackBerry Messenger, or BBM as it's called, for Android. Uh, now, I can't unfortunately review the uh, iPhone version or take a first look at it um, currently, because it's only released in New Zealand now, I believe, potentially Australia as well. Um, however, it's only on the New Zealand App Store as of now, so it's coming out in the UK, I think, this evening at approximately one minute past midnight. So, um, the Android version has sort of just come out now. Uh, I've managed to get my hands on it relatively quickly, so I'm just going to do a quick first look on it today. Um, now, if you're not aware of what BlackBerry Messenger is, if you've used something like WhatsApp or Kick, it's quite actually similar to that. However, it has been around much, much longer on uh, devices such as this. You can see how often I use it with that nice layer of dust on the top of it there. But yeah, it's normally found on BlackBerry devices, so I've got a curve here. Um, but now BlackBerry have opened it up to other platforms, uh, iOS and Android. So uh, quite exciting, it's uh, a bit weird seeing it on there and uh, certainly you wouldn't have predicted this would have happened about when the, when the iPhone first came out but now they've I think had to acknowledge that uh, they're not doing as well just with um, their own phones so they're probably trying to expand their services onto other platforms uh, in an attempt to kind of uh, make more money or uh, get get a larger user base. So I have got it running on my HTC One here and I'm yet to do a review on this but it's coming up soon. Um, so now if I just go ahead and uh, unlock the phone. Here we are, we can see we have the BBM app in the uh, launcher tray or uh, app applications tray here so just go ahead and launch that. And I've only got one contact at the moment, I've got Will, but uh, yeah, so this is kind of what the app looks like, I mean, when you first open it up. It, it's quite similar if you have seen the BB10 version of uh, BlackBerry Messenger, um, it, it's quite similar to that really. So you've got uh, essentially here, right, so along the bottom of the app we have got five tabs here, uh, the leftmost tab is kind of your options menu, kind of similar to that side menu that you get in the old style Facebook app uh, because they brought out the new iOS 7 version of course. Um, so you've got contacts, uh, groups, updates and uh, invites as well. So they're just all things so people can invite you or display here. Um, updates, so if someone say for example changes their profile picture or uh, change their name, you've added them as a contact, etc. Um, they will that those all those updates will appear there. Uh, and as you can see your kind of tab displays at the top. So if I go into that, um, this is my kind of profile view. We have got uh, the details pane and the updates pane, so details them in there at the moment. You can kind of set statuses, uh, change your availability, um, set a message, personal message, I've just said it as that for the time being. Um, so to just sort of added something there, it's kind of difficult to see, there we go. So if we go into updates, it should show all of my personal updates. So you can just see I've literally just changed, kind of, well I haven't really changed it, but I did modify something on my um, tagline there, so it just does appear there. Um, and then at the bottom we've got uh, the barcode, which if you click on it, will display the QR code and the PIN number. Uh, I'm blurring this out because I don't want everyone seeing the PIN there, but uh, trust me, there is a QR code there, and then you have got your PIN number just beneath there that uh, you give to other people and they can add you on there. So uh, that's how you access that. I know I had to hunt around a bit for it because I didn't notice it straight away when I first got the app, but uh, that's where you find it. And then to get back to the other settings, we can just hit the back button down the bottom there as well. We've got so next we're going to move on to the chats tab. If we head into here, I've already got an open chat with Will, so I'll open up that. And then uh, first thing you notice actually is it's quite similar to say a conversation in WhatsApp or Kick. Um, they've changed it from uh, the BlackBerry 7 to the BlackBerry 6 style uh, to a much more modernised version. So it's just very, very similar to the sort of interface you'll get on the BlackBerry 10, which is I think what they're trying to push. Um, so you've got kind of a R when someone has read the message and when you just send a message, say for example, just hit, see I'll put in like hi, then I hit the bottom thing down here to send it 
Um, it will show you a check mark to confirm the message is sent and then a D to confirm it's being delivered to the user so a notification will have gone off there and then it will change to a green R when um, they have read the message and you'll obviously get a reply. Uh, it does have its own sound when you, you get a, a new message so you will be able to distinguish and you can set as your own sound as well. Uh, you can add various things into messages like you can add say uh, a second contact to turn the conversation into a group. You can also go and add, um, for example, an attachment. So a picture, uh, take one or choose from a gallery or a voice note. You can also believe, I think that's grayed out actually. I think that's so you can send like contacts or other things as well. And then you have got emoticons there as well. So they're all the same ones you'll find on uh, just any other Blackberry. Then the second menu here, we can invite more people, attach and send, whatever that is. You can ping them, so I'm going to ping. Uh, that's how you ping, um, whereas on BlackBerry I think there's a dedicated button for it. You can copy the chat and you can end the chat as, there as well, so we go head back. Um, that is the chats column, then contacts, if we go into someone else's profile, uh, it just opens up your chat with them. Um, so if I head back again, contacts. It's kind of keep the focus there. There we go. And then we've got groups as well. I haven't set up any yet, but you can create a new group, um, whether it be for work or just general fun kind of thing. You can just create groups there as well. And the final menu here, you can invite people to BBM, create a new group or join a group and all of that. So we invite. You can invite people by their barcode. So the idea is they would hold their phone up and you can just scan the QR code. Uh, you can put their PIN in, you can invite them by um, SMS, text message, invite them by email, and then, this is interesting, you can actually invite them by uh, near-field communication, which is quite cool. You won't be able to do that on an iPhone, but in theory, you could just touch them, touch two uh, NFC supporting phones together, and uh, immediately share BBM details, which is actually quite useful. So, uh, anyway, there's that. If we head into settings, there's loads of stuff here. Uh, music status updates, changing that, um, changing LED colour, uh, saving chat history, you can change the layout, you can block people, that's kind of important if you need to use that, contact layout, so you can all change that, it's kind of your, your standard stuff, um, but that is basically it, it's the BBM app essentially, it's just another really kind of um, WhatsApp style app that's just appeared, and the only reason I say um, kind of another is because it's quite late to the game actually of um, becoming a multi platform messaging service because WhatsApp, Kick, and that have been around for a really long time now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how BlackBerry will keep their ground in this sort of um, sector. But yeah, it's kind of a first step anyway. I certainly would have, if, if I were asked whether BBM would come to uh, iPhone and Android about five years ago, I certainly would have said uh, almost uncertainly, but just shows you in such a short space of time stuff can change quite quickly, but um, yeah, anyway, overall quite a solid app, I haven't seen any performance or buggy issues yet, um, it's quite fast, only thing I would notice though is they are yet to have um, sort of 1080p graphics for uh, the HTC One, Galaxy S4, kind of LG G2, all of those kind of phones, um, so I wonder when they will add that. Not an essential, obviously, you can use it, um, but uh, yeah, just something they could probably add in the future. But anyway, this is BBM for Android. I will have the iPhone version coming up fairly shortly, well, when I get my hands on it anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you in some more videos.